So we took the old leather from the steering wheel as example for the new one, cut it a new one and my sister is stitching it for me. So guys, this is what my sister did for me. She was stitching me a new cover for my steering wheel. The things you should watch for if you do a cover like this. You need a grandma, a sister or a mother which will stitch you the one. I think on the machine it's much better quality than do it by hand. So, I hope the steering wheel is okay for you. I'm not a perfect stitcher, so that I don't make a movie about my stitching. I think there are a couple of good tutorials outside how to do a nice stitching. Mine is, oh, like I say, 80%. But uh, now, time to move on to the clutch. I don't think uh, you need a complete tutorial how to change a clutch. I think people which don't know how to do it should stop right now the video and don't do it yourself. So if you are self-confident for changing a, a clutch in general, I will just give you some common tips uh, which are related to Renault, to Clio, to Megane and so on which have this special problem with the subframe. Yeah. The subframe is a problem when you want to change the clutch or the gearbox because it's in the way and it needs to get out. So you need a motor bridge. I bought one for me a couple of weeks ago and I'm very thankful that I did it because uh, the other way is to keep take the subframe together with the engine and the gearbox out completely and then change the clutch or gearbox whatever. Uh, my way was to uh, keep the motor inside the car with the motor bridge. This is very easy. Uh, I will show you some tips how to do this. And then just loosened the subframe and uh, lowered this so I can get the gearbox back and I changed the clutch from the top of the car. I will show you how to do this with some general tips. I think uh, 
you always should watch yourself what you're doing but uh, these tips may help you if you start working on a Renault AUV or something. You need to start with taking out the battery of course, then take out the battery holding parts and take out the airbox first so that you get place. These are basically the things you need to remove from the top when you want to change your clutch to gearbox strut, the air filter, you should remove the shock sensor for the airbags, the battery holder and the computer and the battery itself. If you do it that way, you see you have already much space there. You can see almost the gearbox from the top. You need to remove some of these wirings and hoses while removing the parts I showed you. But if you remove them, you have enough space. For sure, you need to remove the starter on the back. I think this is uh, self-explaining. What about the uh, uh, steering? I didn't take out the steering completely. I just uh, take the reservoir, loosen it on that side and make it loose. So when I let the downside of the car get down, these uh, hoses don't get uh, broken, you know. And of course you need to disconnect the steering column. And this is a little bit hided. Under this rubber gum, the steering column is connected with a joint on this place and you need to disconnect it. You should use such an engine and storage to keep the engine inside the car because if you lose the gearbox it will fall if you don't fix it. You take this one and you hold the engine on this place, put it side by side. Be careful at the Clio, the front fenders are plastic. I place the plate of metal here, flat metal and stand the uh, motor and challenge on that. The downside you need to disconnect the shock absorber from the axle. The drive shaft you can disconnect there on the engine itself. Maybe remove the gearbox oil first. Then take out the plastic, the plastic inside the wheel arch. Remove the front bumper. By the way, if you have water inside your car and you clean the water drains from the top to the downside, check behind this plastic. Do you see that? That's like a jungle. No wonder that the water can go out. That's crazy. So if you ever wonder why your water drains are not working, check this out. Do you see that? Wow. So these, these parts we have on both sides, you need to remove them. One on this side, one on the other side. Of course, you need to disconnect your um, manual gearbox and disconnect it on that screw. If you want to get your gearbox oil out, it's that screw. The gearbox holder here, this gearbox holder needs to be removed. Yeah, that's it basically. And to remove the downside after you lose everything, these screws on both sides on the front and these screws on the back side of the axle, both sides. Sort your screws from the gearbox so you later know which screw belongs to which place. We just loosened the drive bottom on the driver's side and we still let it fixed on the passenger side. So, then we had enough space to pull out the gearbox after we loosened the screws and we can easily change the clutch from the top. As you can see, this is really easy to do. Then you take a center tool to put your new clutch in the center. That's it. So guys, I'm sorry for the shaking camera. It's difficult to make a, a movie on that places and to make filming uh, when you're laying like this or like that on the floor. But I hope you have all the tips you need to change a Renault clutch uh, in the case you have a subframe which needs to be removed. Here, take your time to do it, no stress. Keep focused, see you guys. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Start
tripping now I'm blue. Mega man, I can't wait for losing cause I got too many haters, man. Used to be the paper boy, grew up now I'm Mega man. Player one, player two, show your ass what players do. Up, down, down, right, hit on with a stronger time. Yeah, I smoke the strongest pack. Tell me what is wrong with that. No coins in the laundry, man. You can't help but honor that. Jam, man, make a man. More games in the Sega, man. All I smoke is chronic. Run my coins just like I'm Sonic. I really have no chance against Bruce. He's a fucking Bruce Aldinio. Broke the you a failure. Stack your money up like Tetris. I don't know what else to tell you. Over here, everybody got a gun. My life is golden now. You want to know why niggas die? Nigga, I just told you why. I'm talking, bitch, we need to take a break because she a space of pain. Niggas do not know the game. Why? Because they play a haters. I'm a boss, yeah, man. I call me Dr. Eggman.